Ms. Francois McCreary, you have brought your son's girlfriend, Ms. Perry, to court today to demand the results of a paternity test. You state that after taking Miss Perry in, when she had nowhere else to go, she rewarded you by sleeping with your son and now claims he fathered her child. Yes. Now, Miss Perry, you say the plaintiff is judgmental and hates that her son is in a loving relationship with you. You contend that her paternity doubts stem from a narrow-minded view of your past. You say you are hoping the results of today's test put an end to her meddling once and for all. Now, Ms. Francois McCreary's son is outside of the courtroom and will join us shortly. Ms. Francois McCreary, uh, how did you come to meet Ms. Perry? Well, at a church picnic, you know. Okay. Um, I had heard of her situation, and I knew I could help, because, you know, being a God-saved Christian, I wanted to help her. Okay. So I put, opened up my own house. Yes, hallelujah, thank you. I opened up my house to her, rent-free, no food, don't have to worry about anything, just come make yourself at home, because, you know, she could save her money for what she needed to do. She just needed the help. I see my past in her, and I just wanted to help her, okay. you know? And she betrayed me. You know, and it hurt my heart. It hurt my heart, but you know, that's... And then something else came out of it. So I just want to know the truth, because I befriended her, and she she stabbed me in my back, you know? And she came in my house and tried to just tear everything up, and I'm just not having it. So you think she stabbed you in the back by sleeping with your son? Oh, she did. So, Ms. Perry, you see this differently. Yes, I do. You moved into her home, and you accepted her help. You appreciated it? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Because when she came to me, she came to me as this godly woman, and I took it as a spiritual thing. I was down and out, and I felt that it was something that God was saying to me. So, I most definitely, it was appreciated. And so, when you moved in, you didn't have plans to start a sexual relationship with her son. Before I moved in, I was already with her son. And she knew that. I got introduced. Did you know that? No, I, no, I did. Where? No, I yes, didn't. Did. Because if I knew that, I wouldn't even let her move in my house. You know, don't play me like oh, okay. that. You were with her son how long before you moved in? We were talking maybe about two or three weeks prior to that. Not. Were you there when we got together? <laughs> Excuse me, my kids uh, tell me everything, so. unlike you. Your You're not my child, so do my kids tell me anything? They have nothing to hold from Your me. Your kids don't tell you everything. Whatever what, what I need to know. And so you didn't feel this relationship with her son would be of issue to her because you thought she already knew? No, she already knew because I told her. I got introduced as, this is my girlfriend. And she was so, oh, I love y'all. Y'all's a cute couple, and y'all make it so nice. That is not true. Oh, my goodness. Miss Francois did... McQuarrie, you have a different recollection yeah, of how you... I don't know what space she was on, what planet, or what, because we wasn't <laughs> together. I'm the one initiated it, because so I, I didn't know nothing... So, we're a cute couple if we're not together? Uh, excuse me, because I found out of your past. So... Your past, she what, is... What did she, you find she prefers, out? She's homosexual. She's a lesbian. Okay. Most definitely. Yeah, that was my path, and I am proud of it. I but know I you're proud of so... it, but you have to let me make a choice if I'm proud and to have you, you in it. And that's right. In my that's home. why I told you up front what it was, and I told your son to let y'all choose if that's what you wanted to do or it's not do. It's a choice, but you didn't let me choose anything because I didn't know you nothing chose. about it until later. You chose. Until you was in my home. So you're saying that you wouldn't let her live in your home having known she was homosexual? No, I wouldn't have, because you know what? I have a daughter. I have myself. I have my granddaughters, and I gotta keep them safe in my home. But, Ms. You know Francois what I'm saying? McCreary, wait, 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 wait. But that doesn't wait. mean that I'm not godly. Wait, 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 wait. In this courtroom, we respect all people. Yes, That's I know. All sexual orientation, yes, everything. Yes, yes. Now, you're suggesting that your children could somehow be harmed because Miss Perry is a lesbian seems incredibly far-fetched. You truly don't believe that, do you? No. Yes, yeah, you do. I believe... You know what I believe? She, if she wasn't honest with that, how can I trust her in my home to be honest with anything? When you say you spoke to her about it, what do you recall saying? We were sitting on your porch, and I got introduced to her as the girlfriend. Then once we sat down and me and her and her daughter sat down and we was just talking, having a girl talk, I let them know up front what my situation was. Like, I was married. 
I was in a sexual relationship with a woman, and this is who I am. Your son is the first man that I ever been with. I seen that she has raised a good man, and I seen the good in him. So I applaud her for raising her son to be a good man, and that's who I wanted to be with. My ideal of a man was her son. So you're doubting that this child is your son's based upon what? It's just the point how she did everything. If she lied about all the other stuff, and she's, she's still lying, because she never told me that about her situation. I had to find out from someone else, like my daughter, about her lifestyle. And then no. she and hit on me. So that was another when? thing. <gasps> you in when? the bathroom. What bathroom? Upstairs. What? Oh, she hit on me, and I told her, you know what, you back up. <laughs> Wait yeah, a minute. Yeah, you know what? You're in my space. I like she women, said, I want to hug. But I'm gonna keep it in she my said, age you got... group. <laughs> Wait a minute. You like older women, honey. Like you know you women. like it. I like older women, yeah. but I have a preference of what oh, I like. Yeah, you must have a pre you must have a preference with me because you sure walked in the bathroom. I'm sorry. I see you as my boyfriend's mother okay. and I respect that. What really? You feel like she hit on you and she was sleeping with your son? Yeah, that's why I said this is getting too far. This is drama I don't want in my life. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. She says your son's the first person, first man she's really been with or dating. <laughs> You don't believe I, I, that. You are high about that. You know what? I you got, just, you had you just know met what? me. I, close friends of her and close friends of me say girl was like, mm mm, it ain't true. It uh, ain't true. Oh, so you're so you told that she has had relationships well, with other men. Well, she was in the house men. having sex with my son. Have you seen any other evidence that she was sleeping with any other men? Nope. <laughs> just heard, just heard, just heard. Just heard just it? Heard. Yeah, she got that little a person on her shoulder. It's her no, other it head. It ain't on my shoulder. It's her other head. It's on my ear. All right, I think it's time like to meet you your son. Like you should have been calling me all kind of you was out Honey, I've been through this you. before. I got five Me kids. Son Four sons. Have to date you. He's the youngest one. You and he this is his first jealous. baby. Jealous. First baby. Jealous. I got nine. Jealous. This will be the ninth grandchild. I got another one on way ten. I'm a single woman. I take care of my that's grandkids because that's my blood. I just want to see if this is the blood. It and then is. I got to pray over it I know and ask God to fix with. it. You know what I'm saying? So, because it's going to be hard. Okay. So let me recap that. You've been through this before yeah. with your other sons. I got fine sons, handsome they, sons. Good and they looking. Took, they take care of their children. You know, but we you all do. But you encourage them to get DNA tests. Yes, with every last one of them. Nobody else gave me any problem because they knew it was their babies. So you understand why she have a problem with it. And you also stated to the court. Because I know it's his baby. Well, you, I don't. You also I don't. slept with him. Well, I don't know about that either. You slept with a lot of other people. You also stated to the court that he's you cute, though. He's so oh, cute. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh. Because he look just like his daddy. But you, uh, you, No, you, he don't. Yes, he do. No. I don't see none of my grandkids either. Your grandkids got different mamas, different daddies. But they all look alike. They ain't gonna look if alike. If I bring them up, you can see all of them is mine. So I you say, mine. you say I go to the hospital stronger. like, oh, this is one of mine. All right, let's meet your son. Jerome, would you please sure. escort Mr. McCreary into the courtroom? Sure. How's it going? Well, we're gonna have you take the seat on the right. Mr. McCreary. How you doing? Please take a seat. Thank you for joining us today. Tell us. Okay, Do uh... you believe her child is your child? Without 100%. I mean, I, I, when I first had him at the hospital, it was, I knew he was mine. I was there every step of the way. Did and you sign the birth certificate? I mean, it's a little issue with that, but... Well, what is it? What's the little Hello. issue? Hello. Oh, sorry. It's, she, she was married and the whole legal situation with that. Miss Perry, you were married. I was legally married to my ex-wife, yes. So you didn't sign it for that reason and that reason alone. And his mama told him not to sign it until she got, he got the paternity. Yeah, so DNA. He test. wanted to sign it. And I told him not to sign the birth certificate because you've been through this. Because he's too light skinned. It. Ms. Brantois McCreary, now you know that we can have babies of all shades mm -hmm. and colors. That's right. You know I that. Know. You know that. He cute. I'm not saying that, but he just doesn't look. There's no denying like... that he's cute. He's yeah, adorable. but he doesn't. Thank he you. just. But doesn't I will. Look like... I can accept the credibility of the argument that if you've been through something before with other children, where maybe children were said to be there.
theirs and it wasn't and you had to have a DNA I test. Did. That I have. I've had one. My son had seven. Seven women's pregnant said they was all pregnant by my son, my other son. And they all come to mama because they want mama to, to help. So they all came to me and ever since then I seven said, Seven at know, the same seven time? Seven at the same time. Seven women at the seven same time. Seven women came to my home and said they was pregnant by my son. Not As, me. Not that one, not but yeah. another one. So, you listen to your mother. Mm -hmm. I mean, me, I felt like I didn't need one. I, I voiced it to my girl. I said, I, I don't really need a you DNA don't need test because I believe this, that the kid is already mine. But she's like, well, let's get one for your mom. This is causing conflict. I, it is causing conflict for me because I, I'm, I'm very, very family oriented. Mm -hmm. I love my family and I want everybody to just get along. You know I mean, I just, I hate it because it really hurts me to see my mom, the lady I love, and she was the top of my. Top, top choice. And then my girl came, now I'm the mother of my child. It's, of course, she's gonna be headbutting because it's kind of like she's fighting for attention. I don't know how it's going, but I just want everybody to get along. What are you feeling now as you listen to your son? But I just don't want her to play with his heart because he's a good person. All my sons are good, you know? And then I don't want her to, to be playing with my son's heart if that's not his child. You know, that's what I'm afraid of because it happened to my other sons. And I'm not saying it's because it's the same, no, but I just don't want that to happen to him because he's a good man. He takes good care of her and the baby, you know? And so why do you think she would play with his heart? Exactly. Because is she still in you love even with that other side? Can I like to say something me. real quick? Um, <laughs> Allow From me to show you, and all the times yes, that you I didn't did. disrespect me, I still am the family oriented girl because I did not have the mother or the father. Uh, you can I say something real quick? Came in my house. I, I just want to say something. Um, Veronica, when we first met mom, she was honest with me 100%. That's she told right. me everything, and what I see in her is traits of you, if you believe it or not. I mean, she, she don't take no mess, she's honest. I mean, she's a perfect mother for my son. What about the lifestyle? Okay, she believes in. Both. L listen, I need to make you understand. It's not a lifestyle, it's a life. It's her life. Okay. <laughs> Even though you may not agree with it, we have to respect others. You see that your son is on the witness stand saying, yeah. this is my girl, this is the mother of my child. Mm -hmm. And by being his mother, respect that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to respect it once you Are start you respecting me. And believe what I want. Are women at this time as well? I'm not dating anybody. You, well, she's you, him. She's fully you are in a me. committed relationship. Fully commi since I met him, fully committed to him. I chose to be with a man. You're not dating any other men. You're not dating any other women. There will never be another woman that it come in my circle because I want to teach my kids, like she said, that she believe in the Bible, it says man and woman, and I want to teach them that man and woman. Well, but I'm not going to allow them. I'm not going to... I'm not going to tell them to, you know, like you said, you we are, accept everybody. You, you have to understand, if you all are choosing to be a couple, you're choosing to raise a family, mm -hmm. you have to be able to understand that that family is about love, acceptance, right. and trust. Miss Francois McCreary feels like you didn't tell the entire truth about your life and she let you in her home. And for her, there was a basic level of trust broken. Yeah. And it's almost as if she can't get to the next level with mm -hmm. you because she feels like you didn't explain it to her. You contend you did explain and you feel confident in that. There is a miss communication here. No, there's no miscommunication. No, no, no. There's a miss... Mm -hmm. There, yeah, is. there is. Because the problem is, is if you believe something was communicated that and she did not it. feel was well, communicated, mm -mm. a miscommunication That's exists. Right. So However, what has not been miscommunicated and what is a fact that you two love each other and want to be in a relationship. That's, That's right. true. That's true. So That's what we need to deal with right now. And the only way we're going to get there are the results. Yeah. Right. Now, Jerome... I'm ready for the envelope. Okay. There you go, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and read as follows. In the case of Francois McCreary versus Perry and McCreary, when it comes to five-week-old Brenton McCreary Jr., 
Mr. McCreary, you are the father. Bam. I'm not happy now. I just want to know. That's my blood. You say you're happy now. Yes, I am. I just want to know if it's my blood. And so you plan to be the grandmother that I this child sure deserves? Do. Yes. Yes, I want to hold him now. Yes. I'm happy. You're on you it. happy? Yes, because that's his first baby, and I wanted to. We this kept us from you from having. No, this kept I us. I told you. I don't care what you say. Uh, okay, I had to know myself. Something? This yes. kept me from can doing I, with her, with him, with his first you baby. You want to go and talk to yeah, your I'm mother? Talk, yeah, Absolutely. Right, thank you. This your son would like to speak to you. Okay. Mom, you know I love you. I know. And and you know that I don't know you got the best interest for in me. Yes. But Veronica, she's really a beautiful and perfect woman. She's okay. got my back 100%. Okay. And I want us to be a family. We just, can. And stop just bickering and all this no fighting. More. I promise. You know how I'm a family, and I know how you love yeah. me, and I love you too. Okay. And you'll always be my girl. Okay. But, <laughs> baby, come here. Babe. All right. Come here, baby. Come on. Come here. <laughs> That's what I like to see. I can't do without you. Ms. McCrary, you have petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that the defendant is the father of your miracle baby, 18-month-old Arian McCrary. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You claim Mr. Goodson has done nothing for your daughter, but today, that's going to change. Mr. Goodson, you say the plaintiff has brought the wrong man to court and you refuse to do anything for a child who is not biologically yours. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. McCrary, how does it make you feel hearing Mr. Goodson deny paternity? The way I'm feeling at this moment, Your Honor, I'm, I'm furious. I'm just tired. I'm fed up. You know, when you already have kids, this is my first child. You know, of course, she's my miracle baby. She's my only child. At, you know, the age that I am, you wouldn't think that you'd be having a baby. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Here she go. And I just take one day at a time. I don't know what else Has to do. he been involved in her life at all? 17 months? Uh, he has been to a certain extent, okay? I can count on one hand how many times, you know? One he, hand in 17 months, I, you can yes, count? Yes, Your Honor, and counting, okay? <laughs> and when you see her? <laughs> That's my miracle baby. You know, I, I didn't know I could, you know, conceive. You know, when you're in a relationship with a man for so many years, you know, you have an unprotected sex, you're trying to get pregnant, things of that nature, it doesn't happen. You think you can't get pregnant, you know? So, when my baby, you know, I went to the doctor, they told me what happened. I just was like... It just, you know, she made me happy. Well, you're saying you guys have been on and off of this long. Your Honor. How have you seen him deny her? He was in the store. He was with his other family, you know? If I see you with your teenage children and you walk past us, how would that make you feel, Your Honor? And it hurts you that he walked right past the baby. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Goodson, did you walk past Ariana in the store and not even acknowledge her at all? No, Your Honor, that's not true. When I walked, when I... We actually seen each other at the same time. She was coming... And I was going toward the checkout. She was going, I guess she was going to get an item or something. And we never said that. I didn't even know that all Aaron was with her. I didn't even see Aaron. I seen her, but I didn't even see Aaron. So you acknowledged her on that day. Yes, I, I... But you are not acknowledging that you are the father of this beautiful baby. You do not think you are Aaron's biological father. No, Your Honor, I don't. Why? Well, every time we got together, it was like her, her phone used to ring a lot and... Uh, she come over there. You know, we stayed on two different sides of town. She, she'll come over there some, uh, you know, probably a day or two, and I might not hear from her, you know, a couple more days after that or whenever she's around. You know, her phone is just constantly, you know, it was constantly going off, and she was always secretive about it. So, you know, so I kind of felt like it was somebody else in the picture. And Let when, me um, understand this. Your relationship started as, what, just a casual fling? What was the nature of this? Yes, Your Honor. We just, we just was, was, was friends hanging out, and I started, you know, I developed a couple of feelings for her, so I was like, and I knew what, you know, what she had... A couple going. feelings. <laughs> just a couple Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Well, you know, I, So I, you I, developed feelings yeah, for her? I, yes, Your Honor. I Did you all feelings. ever discuss making this thing a committed relationship? That's when she disappeared. When I brought this, this subject up, that's when she disappeared on me. When um, Star did try to start a relationship with her, she disappeared on me. You disappeared, Ms. McCrary, when he talked about making you his girlfriend? Your Honor, no, no, I did not, Your Honor. 
First and foremost, you say I was being basically secretive. Phone was ringing. Negative. You have a whole nother lifestyle besides me and, and my daughter, you know? So wait, at the time you all were being intimate, he still had this other family and this other life? Oh, okay. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. That's important testimony. <laughs> yeah. So, when you said you were going to reach out to her to let her know you wanted to make things a little more serious, how serious could it get when you already had another person? <clears throat> now, we was, we was married but separated. Okay. So, and she was just like, she was like, nah, I don't, I, that's not what I want right now. And this, so, you know, it, but do you blame her for maybe being a little nervous because even though you were separated, you were still technically married? And I always and say, I, a man is married until he is divorced. Okay. It's just, that's the way it is. Yes, so, do you understand why she might be a little reluctant to go in and, and, and move in and create this life over with you when you were still legally married? Mm. Yes, I understand. Was that why you were reluctant or were you reluctant for another reason as well, Ms. McCrary? No, Your Honor, that's basically, you know, the reason. Why would I want to be with a man and you already got ties with, a, with another situation? You got to stop what you're doing, you know, and then you saying you set me down and never happened li- that way. You know, when you're talking to someone about committing in a relationship, it's about you guys, not somebody, your ex, not my, what my phone ringing. That's not the point. The point is that we're all adults, okay? Sit and talk to me. I know when I conceive. I, I, know, I know the exact date. What is the day you conceive? He picked me up that night from work, July the 10th, okay? If I'm not mistaken, we got American Deli, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? He likes to eat. I like to eat. Not a problem. Okay? <laughs> extra chicken, extra cheese, sub sandwich. Yeah, okay. Up in us. So, I'm with that being said, you know, you, when, when you're grown, you're nasty, you get in tune. I like the things he do to me, vice versa. You know, we enjoy each other. Why not? We're grown. You know, we hadn't had protected sex, so come on. You know, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done that night, how was it? <laughs> <laughs> how was it? You tell me. Because it was great. Oh, okay. I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave the question alone. Mr. Goodson didn't answer, so right. I'm just going to leave it alone. <laughs> Bottom line is, you all were in a sexual relationship and you remember it down to the extra chicken and extra cheese. The extra chicken, Your Honor, the extra cheese, <laughs> the extra lick from the front to the back. Oh. The extra... <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I do. I do remember. I do. I do. My day's so right. Extra. <laughs> <laughs> she said it was extra. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, super size? Super size. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want to know. I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> Cancel that. <laughs> if you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you were having a sexual relationship and you know the date. Yes, yes, sure. You're confident. And so when you found out you were pregnant and you got your window of conception, you knew you were intimate with Mr. Goodson. What happens when you find out you're pregnant? Well, of course, I told family members and, you know, they, they were up for my decision. And I had to just sit and, you know, think about it. Um, you know, I gave him a call. You came right away. So when I told him, he was just up for it. I'll be there. I'll rub your stomach. Take you to doctor's appointments. You know, things like that. And I just felt like, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe he hurt for me. Maybe he's going to be here for me. Got me thinking that, you know, oh, it's going to be all, all okay. It was not all okay. You know, I didn't want to be by myself. And so, Mr. Goodson, you promised Ms. McCrary that you were going to be there for her? Doctor's appointment. No, Your Honor. Did you believe? I asked her. I asked her why she telling me. We have we have haven't been talking, had had sex, had did them for like I said about three to four months. Then all of a sudden, I get a call and say, hey, you know, I'm about, I'm pregnant. And so I was, you know, my my expression was like, you know, well, why are you telling me? When she yeah, and she had done told me that you know she had been you know sleeping with someone else. Oh, uh, oh <laughs> wait, when's that part come in? <laughs> Um, I, I, I can't remember the exact discussion we was having, but I know it came to the point about uh, us, you know, uh, seeing other people. Then she say, well, I had been sleeping with, uh, she never said the dude's name, but she said she had been sleeping with. I said, well, and this is my exact question. I said, well, if you felt like that was my baby, 
how you gonna go sleep with another man while you pregnant with another with another man's baby? Well, you know, I, I, cause I, so I said, women don't do that. Real women don't do that. Mm. I said, if you felt like this was my baby, but you gonna go have sex with another man, I said, I can't just sit up and say, you know, that's my baby. I'm not, I, I'm not going for that. So in your testimony a few minutes ago, Ms. McCrary, you said you realized Mr. Goodson fell in the window of conception. When you had to think about it, did you have to think about it because you were intimate with somebody else around the same time? No, Your Honor, I thought about it because as a woman, you said a real woman shouldn't have sex with other men, but at the end of the day... Not while they're Gus- pregnant. The, well, not while they're pregnant. With, with right. another man's baby. Okay, but at the end of the day, when you go back to your dates, a real woman know who she having sex with. You know, if, when I told him my dates... And I went back and told him specifically when it happened, why, uh, you know, what we was doing. Oh, yeah. It, it could be a possibility. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That was a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> that but sound about right. So that's, that's what you said? Okay, your, yeah, it could honor, be a possibility? Your honor, I did tell her. I said, okay. you know, I know what we had going on, so I'm not going to just outright just do you wrong and say, oh, no, nah, she not mine, this, that, and the other, but you see her telling me you having sex with another man while you're pregnant, this supposed you to be my baby. I can't, just, I can't just say that she's my... Now that you found out, you know it's a possibility, are you present during these doctor's appointments and all the way up to the birth? Were you there when the baby was born? No, Your Honor, I can't... Uh, I, can't I went down to the hospital, I think, like, the second day after she was born, and, you know, I seen her, you know, she was a beautiful baby. She was a beautiful little girl. And all, uh, you know, and I she seen her. like you. <laughs> and, and I know, I know kids can, you know, they'll come out light and, and, and eventually they'll get dark and look like, you know, but I've been through this before. You've been through a paternity <clears throat> issue before? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And yes, Your Honor. Was it determined that you were the father or you were not? I was not the father. I was you, not the father. You were not. After four years. It's not my fault, Your Honor. It is and not I, my and fault. And like I told her, I didn't, I'm not blaming that on her, but at the same time, I can't. That crushed me when I found out So that. what you're saying is this is part of the reason why you haven't fully attached yourself is because you've been through this and been hurt before. Yes, ma'am. After and when you went and you looked at the baby... Yes, Your Honor. I looked at her, you know, I, I held her. I said, you know, told her she was beautiful. Forcefully, Your Honor. What do you mean? Because my, my relative, he didn't say, let me see the baby, let me see that baby, let me see your baby. You know, she had two other my relative, in the room. it doesn't Everybody matter who I had her. in the room, I was already Everybody fearing. else will pass when her around. When I had my around. daughter, Your Honor, please, Gussie, don't deprive that baby because of what you got going on. That has nothing to do with me, period. And so what happens me. when he gets to the hospital? He gets to the hospital. I'm sitting there with my daughter. Some part, some, uh, relative took my daughter, placed her in his hands. You didn't ask to see her, for real. A woman gonna be a woman, a man gonna be a man. If you already know what it takes to be a father in a kid's life, you gonna be there regardless, even if you have doubts. Period, point blank. Okay? So when he saw the baby, when you were in the hospital, and he saw the baby, did you feel like in that moment he said, okay... It's a possibility. It's a possibility? Or do you feel like he immediately denied the baby? What kind of energy? How did you read him? I mean, I had been reading him since I told him I was pregnant, but when he came physically up to the hospital to see Arian, it was just like, okay, wow. She looks like me and you. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's wow. That's what he said? No, I'm, I was getting that impression, but oh. text message, yeah. You know, you were sending me text, wow, she looked like me and you. And I said, wow, wow, wow. So wait a minute, Mr. Goodson. So when you saw the baby, you did feel like the baby looked like you and Ms. Okay. McCrary? I, I felt like I seen some features of me in her. But I, I, like I told her, I said, from, from what I done been through already, you know, the things that she told me she did, I told her I just couldn't... I couldn't just up and say, yeah, I'm, I, I want to take on this responsibility. Like, that. I don't... I have, I have six kids already. I don't have no problem with the responsibility. You have six kids wow. already? Okay. Yes, I do. All right, right, so... Did you sign the birth certificate for mm. Arian? No, I did not. I, I just didn't want to tie myself to that responsibility until I knew that she was mine. It takes two, Your Honor. You come with chump change. Don't never, don't do that. You know, you help me. If I have something on half, I'm gonna tell you what I have half. You can't even foot a half bill. And then, come on now, you, you saying that I bailed out on you, make it make sense, baby. You said make it make sense. Mm-hmm. And that you feel hurt. Mm-hmm. Because this time, instead of running, you're staying because you've got this little girl and you really believe this is her biological father, and you don't want to rip that from her. At all, Your Honor. I, I... This is why we do this, because she does have a right to know. Yes, she do. 
It's not her fault. <clears throat> I have to ask you, Ms. McCrary, the other gentleman, the gentleman you admittedly had sexual relationship with, you said it wasn't during the window of time that Arian was conceived, but do you know where that gentleman is? I do. If, in fact, Mr. Goodson is not her biological father. I do. I've spoke with him about it, Your Honor. I've you spoke have? With him. Yeah. He, he, he comes and, you know, says certain things like, you know, you ready for, hey, I'm ready when you are, if that's the case, you know, but... What does he say you're ready for? To, to basically get a test for, for, for my daughter and him. Because you know, he had... Because he, had, he has doubts also. But I know, you know, I feel like it, in my gut feeling from eyes to cheeks to forehead to baby pictures that he has from her baby pictures at birth that he is Arian's biological father. Let's see if your thoughts about this are true. I have the results. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of McCrary versus Goodson, as it pertains to 17-month-old Arian McCrary, if you need paternity court, call us at 855-883-6223. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Goodson, you are the father. Oh, okay. Okay. You are the father. Okay, well, I want to apologize to you. Now that it's over with, you'll never have another problem out of me. A woman knows who she has sex with. I don't know about me. Sometimes women, but they I know. don't, Mr. Well, I'm Chris. one of them. I want them to know. I want them to know. You have know. come to the one place That's yeah. them where right. Jerome and I know that sometimes yeah. they, they, they don't, don't always remember. Yep. That's why this is such a blessing. Most definitely. Is because you all have been very honest here. A little bit more than even I was prepared <laughs> to <laughs> receive. But at the same time, this is what meeting a crossroads, coming to a crossroads in life, and making the decision mm -hmm. that I'm just gonna make the right turn. Mm -hmm. And that requires sometimes coming clean about some things mm -hmm. and figuring out how we move forward. 